Today, we're gonna to be looking at a previous live experiment, but supersizing it. So, you remember an experiment where we took a can, we crushed it, not with our hands, but with pressure of air? Well, we're gonna do it again today. And we've got some awesome utensils just for you. Check this out. I've got a big tub of ice. I've got a lovely heat source here. And most importantly, not a can, we have got... An oil drum. So what do you think we're gonna do with all this? Basically, in the world we live in, planet Earth, we're surrounded by atmosphere. We all breathe it in, we all know it's there. Now the atmosphere actually weighs something. It's actually got mass. Now, surprisingly enough, if I took a square centimetre and I'd done a column up to the, at the top of the atmosphere, it would weigh about a kilogram. And if I took the amount of atmosphere that was rough above my body, it would actually be about a thousand kilograms. So that would be about a tonne of weight actually pushing down on my shoulders right now and on your shoulders as well, obviously depending on how big you are. Now, the same thing is actually occurring to this oil drum. Above this oil drum is loads of atmospheric pressure. This pressure pushes down on the top and on the sides. If the pressure outside this oil drum actually matches the pressure inside the oil drum, the oil drum will feel balanced. We call that equilibrium. But the funny thing is right now, the oil drum has actually got a cap on it. So that will separate in the inside from the outside. And when I take the cap off, well, actually all of the air inside is actually balancing with the air outside. So the inside pressure is the same as the outside pressure and still you can see no difference. But actually we can do something to change that ratio. We can increase or decrease the pressure inside the oil drum. So what we're gonna do is heat up the drum to change the pressure or the volume of the gas that's inside it. We've prepared our oil drum. We've actually applied this just so we can move it nice and safely. If you take water and you heat it up, water can change from liquid state to gas state. And when it's a gas state, it'll take up 1600 times more space. So what I'm gonna do is instead of just having gas inside this container, I'm actually gonna put a tiny bit of water in it, about three liters. And by putting that water in it, when it heats up, that water will expand from a liquid to a gas and try and take up more space. Now, if I've got the lid on, it won't be able to take up more space and the pressure will increase. If the lid off, that gas will try and take up more space and will actually leave the drum and there'll be less amount of air inside the drum and water or steam. So let's get three litres of water, put it in the drum without the cap on to stick it on the fire. Right, let's do it. This could take a while. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna watch and wait to see the steam start escaping from here. When the steam's escaping, we'll know that some of the liquid water has started to turn into gas as steam. But I'm also gonna do something else. You might have seen in one of my experiments where I stuck a bag on top of a cup, stuck it in the microwave and had some water in it and the bag expanded as the gas expanded. Well, I'm actually gonna see if I can inflate a bag on this as well. That's just cool. You know, and I know, that steam or that water well, liquid water turns into steam at 100 degrees centigrade at this pressure, at the pressure we've got right now. So we've left it for about 15 minutes or so, and you can see that the bag is actually getting bigger. If some of the air that was inside at normal temperature was pushing with atmospheric pressure, meaning at that temperature it was pushing out with the same amount that the atmosphere was pushing down on it, now actually some of those particles that was inside is now in this bag. So if I was to remove this top and close the lid on, that means this barrel would have less particles inside than it did before I started heating. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna cap off the top. We're gonna take this. We're gonna bring it over here and stick it in the ice bath and maybe step back a few meters just in case. Right. Right, let's do it. That's how you do it, head squeeze. 
Now, as you can see, we've just totally crushed a 55 gallon oil drum. So that is the awesome power of atmospheric pressure. You can see it in steam engines. It's also the reason that locomotive trains came about. At like that, well, what more can I say? Just subscribe and we'll see you soon. Unless you subscribed already, well then don't subscribe. Just be happy that you watched and like it on the side. <gasps> Choo -choo!